Hey, this is Nat Pibal. It is now 10.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time on Thursday, March 12, 2015. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about what I saw at the beach earlier from my own intuition. It is the um, next instruction download. Not uh, not only is it is a next in, um, instruction download, but it also provided me some kind of energy. Very courage. I don't know. Not really sure yet. But I definitely feel different. I definitely feel different. Anyway, so besides how how what the reason I went to the beach. I mean, I've been a little bit stressed and annoyed, and um, so something told me to go to the beach, and I got there a little bit before nine, and the landscape of the beach was different tonight. It felt different, and there were a lot of clouds. The last time I was there was Tuesday. And as I got closer to the beach, you know, the the water kind of like recede. So the sand is very beautiful. The sand is so good. Because it's like a slope. And I can walk on the slope. And I walk in the water. In the darkness of the beach. It's very dark tonight. Like the water is very dark. You don't really see anything. And there were a lot of clouds. But I noticed the same amber vibrate, uh, an amber like color star that I saw on Tuesday with the horizon in front of me. Same spot that I saw on Tuesday. Never seen it before until Tuesday. Except I didn't see the second star to the right of it tonight, like Tuesday. And I was still trying to be like, is that really a freaking star? Because it's right by the horizon. It's a little bit like, a little bit above the horizon, but it's not. Can't really tell because I see like a black, a black tab line along above the horizon. It looks like a curtain. And I was like, is that a freaking star? What a boat, but... It doesn't look like a boat to me because it's vibrate like a star. Then I look to the right and I see this bright white object. Since it's white, it's probably it's not a star, right? But who the fuck knows anymore, okay? Because scientists, I mean from what I know, is that if it's white, then it's a planet. <laughs> But with everything that's going on now, I really don't really know what they are sometimes. So let's just call it a white bright light to the north, to the right. And I felt like something is telling me to walk that way toward the darkness of the beach because where I was just kind of like light pollution from the city. And if I were to walk toward that light, I would be farther away from the light pollution and be toward the darkness. I was like, oh, should I go? And then I kind of like noticed some like light movement or some like something moving around there. So I was like, okay, I'll go. And then I walked past by this guy who was standing there. 
kind of already read his mind, but, um, and so I just, like, walk around him to the back, right? But then the guy, like, ran up to me <laughs> afterward and just, like, said hi. So I was like, okay, I'll be, I'll be light and loving, so I'll talk to him, you know, show him some light and love. Anyway, so I talk, I told him, like, I look back, and I noticed that the amber light is, like, way brighter than before, and it's, like, vibrating, and I'm like, hey, like, do you see that light back there? <laughs> I was like, I've been trying to figure out, is that it's a star or what? And he was like, yeah, yeah, like, you know, he's kind of like, didn't really want to pay attention to what I'm talking about. And I was like, see that light up front, that white, white, white one? I'm, I'm trying to walk toward it. Or I'm trying to figure out what it is. And he was like, how far do you walk there? I was like, well, it doesn't end because it comes to a house. That's how far I'm planning to walk to the all the way to the end if I have to. So as we were talking, talk, 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 talk. I was looking at the right, right. It kind of dis oh yeah, when I first got to the beach, when I saw the, the, the white star, the white light to the right, it did disappear several times. Because at first I was like, is that a, 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 like a light from an from a, like a boat or something, but it's not because it disappeared, like, as if clouds move, moving over it, you know, it, like, it dim, it dim, and then it disappear, and then it comes back. So I was like, okay, so it's like, not a boat. <laughs> so as I was walking toward with him, it disappeared again. Right? It disappeared. And he's like saying the same thing, hey, it disappeared. And then, it come back. I'm like, oh, it comes back. Right? <sighs> and then I did notice that there is like a very dim, very faint light to the horizon to the far left of that light, to that white light to the north that I'm walking toward. And then it disappeared again. It's like, okay. And you know, I wasn't like always looking at it because I was talking to this guy and then all of a sudden it comes back and now they are too light. I, I mean, uh, the one that I first saw, this time it looks a little bit high, high to the north, high up, but anyways, two lights, so two lights, right, two lights come back in a vertical line I'm like I'm like hey there's two of them now above the horizon and then the one on the bottom it does this like big flash like a spotlight like and then like a burst like a spotlight and then it disappears like holy shit like what the fuck is that right And then I felt like I saw some movement, like, and I felt like I saw, like, bioluminance over the water. And then it comes back. The bottom lights come back. And then it does it again. Like a big burst. And then it disappeared. I'm like, okay, there's some, there, uh, uh, it's like a... There's a pattern here. There's a pattern of flashes. And I just stopped walking. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Right? And then it comes back. But this time a lot dimmer. And the top light is a lot brighter than before. Like a lot brighter. And as we walk a little bit, I mean I stop. And when we walk a little bit more, The bottom light is now over here. And I'm like, light is moved. And I don't even see it actually move. Like I don't I don't see it move. I just see it suddenly here. And then it's suddenly here. Kind of a thing. Just like how it suddenly became too light. And then I was like, oh my god, it moved. And then as it got a little bit further away, it turned into teal color. A lot dimmer than before, but it's teal. So I just stopped, 
Well, I just look it for a while. It's like there's something going on here. And it flashes, it vibrates. Vibrate. But it's still over here. So, okay. Hmm. Right? So, I was like, well, I'm gonna walk backward. So I said goodbye to the Vietnamese guy because he felt like he needed to take a rest. So, as I was walking backward, I noticed that that tear light is not a little bit farther, but now it's red, like red, okay? Like fucking red color. Red. And it's vibrating. It's vibrating, red. Flashes. And sometimes it like it disappear a little bit, but it vibrates like a star, but a red star. And I was like, huh. And then I just so I decided to stop and just stare at it. And when I stare at it, it looks like it's creating a portal into my eyes, like a laser beam. Quantum physics, you know, like how, like teleport. So, it happens during um, that one full moon the, on the first weekend of uh, February. But this one is a little different. Basically, the light, the star looks like it, it uh, teleports those beam of light to where I'm at. So it's closer to me. You know, take away the whole idea of light travel, light speed, right? And... I was like, that's interesting, but I also saw it like vibrate with the, like a hint of amber light sometimes. But it was like basically very red color. Like the same red as like from a VCR light. And, oh, DVD play, whatever you want to call it. Um, I thought that's interesting. And I walk a little bit more, and I would keep looking back. I would walk a little more, I would keep looking back. And the top light that was to the north is very bright now. And it now has a hint of amber. And I feel like I saw something moving to the right of it. I, I swear I saw it. Felt like I keep seeing flashes of like dark movement. And then. As I move, as I move backward, as I walk back to where I started, that red light is also moving farther from the top light. Basically, it moved back to where that that dim white light that I saw in the beginning of the walk is moving back. So basically, as I was starting, that white light was way over here, and as I walk backward, it's now moving backward with me to become red. But at each spot that I go, every time that I turn back, at first the red light will be kind of dim, but the more that I stand and looking at it, it become brighter and brighter. And the the light beam would be like directly into my eye more. The more that I look at it and the more that I stare at it. So I decided to just okay, I'm just gonna Obviously, there's some kind of download here, so I just like decided to just stare at it. And basically, at from around like nine nineteen to nine twenty nine, the download is happening. And to me, I feel that the instructions is for the eclipse that is coming, starting tomorrow. It's seven days left. Starting Friday the 13th, there's seven days left, true. And I think that's what it's for. So, I think the information will be, will be processed tonight while asleep. But the first thing that came to mind while I was looking at the red light was the line, We shall take no prisoner, death before disorder. 
which I'll explain about that later maybe get it you know can't take traders so that is the um, another site, another sighting at the beach. <laughs> Saw something weird on Tuesday as well. I haven't talked about that yet. Uh, not really sh sure. What the Tuesday one was about. But it happened after I got this, or I went to the beach with this thing. I have to go back and look if I made a, a, a note. What the fuck was the Tuesday one about? It's all movement. Oh, oh, I know now. Oh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, let's end this video so it's not too long. So. The next set of instructions downloaded has occurred for the divine plan to be carried out for the next phase. Uh, and um, it shall be carried out. And this is not what the people, not Daniel Artemis Shepherd, not. Nine four five zero. I am divinity. <laughs>